Hello guys, welcome to another exciting day. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to YJ Digital World. I am your host Abu Jose. So in today's uh, tutorial video, I'll be guiding you on how to go about your photo retouching process and color grading. Okay, I'll be making use of Photoshop 2020 and carrying out this tutorial. Okay, here I have uh, an image I'll be working on this project. Okay, and I've op already opened the image in my camera roll. Okay. I'm making use of the camera raw 9.0 version, okay. And this image was actually shot with a Nikon D700. That is the camera that was used in taking this photo shot, okay. So if you are new to the channel, do where to subscribe, turn on the post notification to get notification whenever I upload new content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. Please and please don't forget to smash the like button. Do where to give this video a like, okay, so that uh, the YouTube algorithm can suggest this content to other uh, creators on the search engine, okay. So first thing we have to do in the color grading process has to do with camera calibration, okay. That is the first phase of the color grading process so i have to slide over here to my camera calibration and you under the camera profile i have to set this on camera landscape precisely this is uh, a portrait shot okay and this image was actually shot by a friend of mine his name is dope that is the name of his brand dope precisely so and he normally takes his portrait shots using the camera landscape so i have to click on the camera landscape and this will give you a preview of how the image actually looks on the camera when it took the shot okay so i click on it and this is how the image actually looked on the camera screen when he took the shot okay so i'll have to come back to the basics okay and uh, on this basics here i'll be working on all these adjustment layers here beside me on the exposures temperature the tint and the rest of them okay so First thing first here, I have to dial down the saturation. That is, I have to dial down the the white. The white in this image is too high, so I have to dial down the white on this. Okay. Same here. I also have to dial down the highlight. The highlight is also high as well, so I'll come over here and reduce the highlight. Okay. So I'll reduce it to let me see. I think this is good enough for the highlights. So I'll come over here to my exposure and boost it up a little. I think this is good as well. Okay, on the contrast as well, need to reduce the contrast a little bit. Okay, come over here to the black. We also make little adjustment to the black by reducing, that is by adding more black shade to the design face okay so you just you just the black okay then i reduced the black over here i'll come back to where i have my shadows i'll have to increase my shadow a little bit so that uh, my background will be visible okay that is for this come over here to the bottom and uh, make little adjustment to the clarity okay i think this image is popping up come over here to where i have the tint and uh, the temperature okay if i slide this this way it's going to add more of magenta to the project so I need to reduce this by sliding it this way okay let me see plus seven should be okay for this okay then the temperature as well i need to stay uh increase the temperature a little that is to about this okay our image has come to life okay i think this is actually looking nice at the moment okay that's for this so we'll move to the next phase that has to do with our uh, the colors on the image okay i need to boost up the color of the shirt precisely so i'll come over here all the way to my hue so on the hue here i have to boost up my blues of this way okay okay after doing that i come to the purple as well and, and make a little adjustment by reducing it a little 
okay come to the saturation okay the difference between saturation and hue has to do with saturation has to do with the actual color the that is the hue has to do with actual color okay why saturation help you to increase the contrast in color that is the 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 depth in color in terms of lightness or uh, how heavy the color should be okay so i'll come over here and make little adjustments to the blues so i'll come over here drag the blue this way to make uh add more tones of of the blue to this okay why for the purple here i need to also add a little to this precisely i think this is actually looking nice okay so we are done with this face after doing that i'll come over here and click on open image okay so finally i've opened this image in the photoshop okay here is the image on our photoshop uh interface so the first phase for this retouching has to do with uh, uh duplicating of these layers okay so i have to duplicate this layer by hitting ctrl g twice okay to make a duplicate for these layers so i'll come here we have this other layer i'll call this uh, low frequency low fq okay fq okay that is for my color okay low frequency for this i'll call this high frequency high fq okay that is for my texture this should be my texture layer and this should be my color layer so i'll come over here select the two layers by holding shift and click on the other layer okay ctrl g to group this i will call this frequency separation let me see frequency separation okay this is what i'm calling the group okay so after doing that come over here turn off the high frequency layer make sure the low frequency layer is selected to come over here to the filter all the way to blur and gaussian blur okay on your gaussian blur here you need to actually zoom out to actually see the skin of your model okay so i have to use the gaussian blood radius to make a little adjustment to the texture so i have to slide the radius in such a way that i won't see the skin textures okay i think this is let me take this this way okay i think this is this is too strong this is okay for this so i'll click on okay then is the radius we are using for the motion block so i'll click on okay so come over here enable this turn the high frequency back make sure you have selected the high frequency layer that's the next thing we have to do here so after selecting the high frequency layer slide over here to where you have an image all the way to apply image okay under the layers you change this to low frequency that is your color layer after doing that make sure your blending mode is set on subtract okay your scale is set on 2 offset 128 opacity 100 and leave other settings the way they are and click on the ok so after doing this you come over here to the blending and change this to linear light okay that is for that particular layer that is for the texture or high frequency layer that you name. okay so after doing that we we'll move to the next phase that has to do with uh brushing out some of uh the of the skin tones on the low frequency layer okay but before proceeding with that i'll come to where half the high frequency layer slide over to adjustment layer here and enable the black and white so on this black and white here, I have to reduce the red this way. Okay, so I just need to have a preview of this image uh, in such a way that I will know where I have my highlight and where I have my shadows precisely. That's the main essence of me introducing this adjustment layer here. So I can still choose to scale this down. Okay, this will help me to uh, understand where to 
use my brush and when to drop my brush along uh, between both regions of highlight and shadows to maintain a smooth transition with the help of my brush okay so after activating the black and white come over here where you have your low frequency pick your your brush to make sure you are working with the mixer brush too okay in case you don't have yours here can slide over here and enable this okay and select it under this menu here so after set picking your mixer brush too so the next thing you have to do is to come over here make sure under here we have current brush mode make sure you select a clean brush precisely make sure the clean brush is selected then you make sure that this is selected precisely that is clean the brush after each stroke okay make sure it's selected make sure this is not selected this should be selected you set your weight at nine percent load 75 mix 90 percent and flows should be set on 100 respectively okay so after doing that you come over here scale up the size of your brush using the bracket key beside your p button on your keyboard to scale up and scale down the size of your brush okay so i'll come over here ctrl plus to zoom in i can choose to scale down the size of my brush come over here and brush this way okay and brush on the skin okay okay so i'll leave my mouse come over here then left click and drag again to brush to maintain uh the transition along that region you can release your mouse again brush along this region as well so you keep on repeating the same process so if i come to the lighter region i leave i remove my hand from the mouse as well scale down the size of the brush and brush on they have the highlights okay I'm trying to maintain a smooth transitions okay along my images okay that's for that okay so you just go about doing the scale of the size of the brush okay so make sure that uh, you are brushing at the right regions okay so come over here as well scale down the size of your brush okay brush along same shade of of a shade of shadows okay come over here move your mouse on. remove your hand from the mouse and make a new selection okay brush along the highlights like this okay come over here again left click and drag this way to maintain a transition between highlights and shadows okay so you come over here okay come over here take out this okay scale down the size of your brush take out this as well take out this okay so i'll be fast forwarding some of the parts of this video so that uh, this tutorial won't be too long so i'm just repeating the same process here as well so i'll just brush okay so after brushing come over here turn off the black and white okay let me zoom in into the image okay i think this is before before the brushing and this is after before and after okay so after doing that we we'll come over to where we still have the low frequency layer come over here pick our lasso tool after selecting the lasso to make sure you set your fair grid to about 21 to 25 depends on what you need okay so after doing that come over here zoom in okay pick your your lasso to make sure you are still working on the low frequency layer come over here make a selection of this region this way Uh, 
after making the selection with your lasso to come to your filter here all the way to blur and gaussian blur okay under your gaussian blur if you can remember earlier we made use of uh, the radius of them for the first set of blur so in order for we to make uh, this uh, uh, blur effective on this design by maintaining good uh, uh, blending okay we have to multiply our initial value by 3 so 10 times 3 here should be 30 so multiply this by 3 give us 30 so that's for that come over here to this other region as well make the selection this way okay right click okay the same thing come over here as well sorry excuse so come over here along this region don't brush on the highlight end of the middle of the, of the nose so you just come over here okay right click push and blow come over here as well make sure this is, is so so work the one right click brush and blow come over here this way all the way down like this right click brush and blow so i'll just be fast forwarding from this other side please So after we are done applying the blur, okay, this is before and this is after so far, okay. Okay, we move to the next phase that has to do with the high frequency, our skin tone, our skin texture. So come over here to our stamp to make sure the clone stamp tool is selected. And set yours this way, flows, opacity, blending mode, and normal, okay. So you scale up. The size of your brush let me zoom in control plus so all i have to do is to hold out on my keyboard to sample a clean region okay but before proceeding to the texture layer and I, I forgot to uh, work on this other region of the nose that is where i have this highlight so i'll come back to where i have my low frequency pick my lasso tool back again make a selection of those highlight regions after making selection, you right click and click on Gaussian Blur. Start doing the hold control shift F. Okay, and reduce the opacity of the federal to about 8. Click on OK, Ctrl D to deselect. So after doing that, come back to your high frequency, pick your clone to then let's work on this image now. Okay, so for we to work on this image, I have to hold Alt on my keyboard to sample and scale up the size of your brush, please. So you hold out to sample from the clean region okay i hold out left click to sample from the clean region and apply the effect where you want it to be sample from the clean region apply sample from the clean region sample from the clean region you apply it sample from the clean region you apply it okay so you keep on doing that okay So you sample from a clean region that is uh, closer to where the spot is precisely. Please take note. Sample from a clean region that is very close to to the blemishes and apply this wooden out to sample from the clean region and apply the effect, please. okay so come over here same okay so i'll be fast forwarding from this end as well
okay so i'm done with uh with uh, removing of the blemishes from the image okay this is before and this is after before after okay before and after i think this is actually coming to life so after doing this come to the next phase here all the way to selective colors on our adjustment layer here come over here to where we have the blues precisely let me zoom out and uh, i need to add the blues to the shirt okay come over here and the red I need to add a little yellow to this image let me see about five pixels five percent precisely okay i think this is okay this way just the red a little Starting that come to the adjustments all the way to your brightness adjust the brightness okay depends on your image let me zoom out depends on your image okay so just work on your brightness and your contrast a little so after doing that it's time visible by hitting ctrl shift e ctrl shift e enable me to stand visible okay Start after doing that, come to the camera here and the filter here. You need to still make a little correction to this. So on the camera row here, the image has opened. So click on this uh, adjustment brush. Okay, on the adjustment brush here, the presets I'm using for for uh, teeth whitening and uh, eyes. Okay, you need to whiten up the eyes and the teeth. So hit Ctrl Plus to zoom in. Here are this settings i'm using for this okay here are the settings i'm using for this okay so all i have to do is to scale up the size of my brush and brush this way you brush gently on those white regions Okay, that's for this particular eye. So I'll come over here, apply the same technique here. Okay, we so just brush, take out some of those deaths in the eye. So after doing that, uh, we we'll come to where we have the teeth as well. Scale down the size of your brush. Control plus to zoom in. Okay, so I'll just apply the brush this way. Okay. So if you are done, you click on OK. 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 So you can now see the defect on the whole project. OK. Our eyes looking neat, the, the skin texture coming out properly. OK. The eyes neat, the teeth neat. You can see the eyes and the teeth. Uh, actually white the skin texture okay it's also all right as well okay okay the skin texture you see okay okay think this is good guys so guys you have seen how i go about uh my color grading and uh, skin retouching process i hope you find this video helpful so guys if you do enjoy this video do it to smash the like button do it to give this video a like please and if you are new to the channel do it to subscribe turn on the post notification to get notification whenever i put new content on my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching okay thank you guys for always watching please and please don't forget to give this video a like by doing so it will enable the youtube algorithm to suggest this content to other creative okay 
on the search engine thank you guys for watching